Hi, my name is Bart Kamski and this is Unreal Engine four minutes tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome uh, thing that you can change color based on the textures you have. And it's going to be really quick and really simple. So let's get right into it. So we can just delete this and let's go to our content and we need to get our texture. So this is going to be our folder. And to get our texture, we can just go to the view options right here and show engine content. And here in here on the left side, if you don't see it, you need to press this, this thing here. Here is engine content. And here is everything that goes with the engine. And if we select filters and choose materials and textures and choose texture, here we have all the textures that are in engine and somewhere here there is this nice unreal engine black and white texture logo here it is okay so let's just move to our folder not move but copy there this is uh important distinction and here it is let's deselect the texture because now we can see only texture and let's create material out of it so so let's just press right mouse button create material and here is our material and it is plugged right like here if we get if you go back to our main window and just grab a cube and put it here let's change it to movable because i don't want to rebuild lights every time i do it and we place this material this is just this logo on this material if we open these textures we can see that this is black and white texture there's only two colors, black and white. And in textures, colors are basically numbers. So in black and white textures, it is simple because white is one and black is zero. And everything between like gray is 0.5, dark gray is 0.2, light gray is 0.8. And black is zero, white is one. So we use this texture, which is basically just a group of numbers to uh, make our system to change in colors depending on the on this texture so uh, let's press left mouse uh, sorry uh, alt and left mouse button to just uh, disable this link and let's type uh, press right mouse button and type if and we use if not to it and we connect only one channel not rgb only one channel this is black and white texture, so every channel is the same. So we can choose which, whichever. I choose the red one and plug it to the A. And then we need to create a number. So let's just a scalar value to be to be exact. Let's just press a one and left mouse button. So we create a number. And this is just a number. And let's set its value to 0.5. So this is between zero and one. And you can do it couple different ways I do it like this um, I will show you in the second what's going on here so let's create a first color so we press free on the keyboard and left mouse button and this is our free um, vector which is a color if we open it it is black by default but we can select any color here and this is important we need to create a parameter out of this color so we can change it in the material instance which is a children instance of this material so let's press right mouse button and convert it to parameter and let's name it this parameter color one and press enter okay let's just select it and copy it Control c Control v press here Control v and we have another one but this one let's make different parameter so let's name it color two so we have color one and color two. And here we plug color one to A uh, bigger than B and color two to A smaller than B. And this we plug to the base color. We apply. It's gonna take a while. We save. And we create material instance out of it. And instead, because our material is here, we need to put our material instance here and here we can open our material instance so we can see both our uh, level with the cube and material and now we can start playing
here you go that's how simple it is and i'm going to explain how that works if um so this texture is a group of numbers and in this case this is only black and white so every spot here that is black represents number zero and every spot here that is white represents numbers one so if we uh, and we plug this values group of values to a and to b we plug a number 0.5 which is exactly between zero and one sorry about that okay and uh, we plug 0.5 to the b and then to the third one which is when a is bigger than b so when these values here are bigger than 0.5 which means that when it is one because one is bigger than 0.5 then we have to produce this color and here other other way when a is smaller than b so everything here that is black which is zero are smaller than 0.5 because zero is smaller than 0.5 then we print this color so this way we can we can change it here so we can see it it's it's need to recompile the shaders that's why we use uh, material instance because material instance doesn't need to recompile shaders when it's when we have parameters for it but so you can see once again everything that is black here uh, is smaller than 0.5 so when a is smaller than 0.5 this is this color so everything that is black here is this color and everything that is white here so white is one is bigger than 0.5 so a is bigger than 0.5 then it's this color that's basically it so thanks guys for watching and that's all sorry i i didn't make any uh, tutorials recently but i'm working on a very cool project with a nice international team and we're gonna drop our teaser in like a week so i'm definitely and uh, i'm make a video about it uh, and I'm gonna ask you for for add to wishlist on Steam and all that jazz. Uh, but there is one more thing I want I wanted to show you. I bought this. If you don't know what it is, this is Ardu Boy. This is eight bit console made out of a small chip uh, Arduino, mini Arduino or micro Arduino, and you can actually download free games made by community and you can actually make your own games because this engine is apparently very very simple so i'm gonna do that i'm very excited i'm happy like i'm 12 again and since i'm staying home all the time i'll have time to play with these little things okay guys thanks for watching leave a like uh, subscribe if you like uh, more tutorials and that kind of content and see you next time